Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. Before we get into all of that, I want to say thank you to anyone who has bought some online training and thank you to the Nerd Tribe for your well-constructed comments. I really appreciate you guys. In today's video, I feel that the Nerd Tribe is going to have a field day with this one because we will be dissecting the reckless billionaire Kanye West. And if you're not familiar with Kanye West, let me go ahead and paint a scene for you. When I was a kid, there was this show on television called Roots by Alex Haley. And one of the scenes, and there were many memorable scenes, but one of the scenes that really got me as a kid was this scene where they were whipping Kunta Kente to make him denounce his name. And they beat this man into it's like, what's your name? Kunta Kente. What's your name? Kunta Kente. What's your name? Toby. And anyone that would suggest that people being ripped from their homeland put on a ship where a significant number of would-be slaves died at sea. Then they came to a foreign lane, land, they were chained, whipped, mutilated, women were raped. Anyone that would even suggest that tragic horror story of slavery was a choice is a dumbass. And that brings us to Kanye West, who actually was trying to make it seem that the atrocious nature, the situation of slavery was a personal choice by Africans. It wasn't a choice. It was, these people were literally raped from their homelands. They were literally raped and imprisoned and mistreated and had all types of horrible things done to them. But Kanye actually tried to say that slavery was a choice. And you know what happened to Kanye when he said that slavery was a choice? Absolutely nothing. You wanna know why? Because black people as a group have no power. And black folks as a group based upon population are a larger segment of society than Jews. Which now brings us to Kanye's West latest issues. So let's go ahead and talk about Kanye. Kanye became a billionaire because of Yeezys. Which are the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. So Kanye West is a billionaire. Kanye West has pop culture influence. He can influence pop culture. Cause like, once again, these Yeezys, these are the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. And part of Kanye West's appeal to me, Kanye West is a low intellect, low class billionaire. And Kim Kardashian, his ex-wife, is also a low-class billionaire. Both of them made a lot of money appealing to the low-class base of America, which is quite huge, very huge. So low-class, and also, I'm gonna say something. From a um, benefit perspective, it's gonna be extremely hard to damn near impossible for Kanye to meet and wed a woman that's going to be of Kim Kardashian's stature. And what I mean by that, Kim had her own money before Kanye. Kim Kardashian, due to the Kardashian network, is a billionaire. So she doesn't need, and when she got with Kanye, she was worth several million dollars. 
So she didn't get with Kanye because of his money, nor his fame. She had her own money, she had her own fame, she had her own business. And that's going to be very, very hard for Kanye to replicate. Uh, honestly, my opinions, and I did videos on this, uh, he should have, and I'm going to say this, the reason that they got divorced is because of Kanye. It wasn't because of Kim. It was because of Kanye. Because Kanye is a reckless person. Go back to Hurricane Katrina. Remember when he was on the television and he said, George Bush don't care about black folks. And the guy that was with him was looking like, oh snap, right? So Kanye has had a history of saying crazy stuff and appealing to that low class base. Because even though Kanye has more money than he'll ever need, he doesn't have culture and he is not a polished billionaire. He ain't even close to it. Kanye West is a rapper. And with that rapper energy, that's who he is at his base. And he will never, ever change. So Kanye West, the way he is today, he's going to die that way. And once again, I feel the reason that him and Kim Kardashian got divorced was because of Kanye because Kanye is reckless. Kanye is, he has no real power. And Kanye recently have been checked by Instagram and Twitter, because here's the thing, outside of that social media pop culture influence, Kanye West doesn't have any real power or influence. And he went against Jews. He was saying some reckless stuff about Jews. And Jews have power. Jews own media, own corporations, have communities. They keep their culture tight. Jews, as an ethnic group, have power. And Kanye West has come to realize that. And I'm about to tell you, you think it's going to stop with Twitter and Instagram? No, 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 no. This is going to bleed into his future business opportunities because Jews have a very long memory. And it's like, oh, you want to talk smack about us? Oh, we will, we will be keeping our eye on you and your business activities. And wherever they can cause Kanye to lose money, they will. Fortunately for Kanye, his deal with Adidas and the Yeezys was done before he made this faux pas. But once again, Jewish people, and I have a video on this channel called The Jewish Blueprint. I personally feel that black people as an ethnic group can look at what Jews have done to improve their position in America is something that we could duplicate. And there's a lot of people who, because they want to keep it gutter, they want to keep it ghetto they want to keep it black they're like no 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 we can do it without that yet as the case of kanye west has shown you that a black man that is a billionaire can still be checked by white people just marinate that down in a second because once you become a billionaire you're supposed to be able free to do what you want to do you should be like Jeffrey, uh, what was this guy's name? The one that hung himself, that was recruiting all of these young girls. I can't think of his name. I can see him, blonde head. His name was Jeffrey. This guy got away with all kinds of crap for years, for years. And he was a billionaire, I believe. And Kanye, is a legitimate billionaire that can't get away with shit once he leaves the black spear. As long as Kanye is operating in the black spear saying reckless things about black folks, he can get away with it. But he can't do that with Jews. He can't do that with Jews. And one of the things 
that I have learned is Jews are a fragmented community. There's the Hasidic Jews. These are the people dressed in black with the hats, with the curly things. They don't believe in intense education and they have their own communities around the world that sustain and support what they want to get accomplished. And then there's the broader spectrum of Jews who are all over Hollywood, who are all over Washington, who are all over tech in San Francisco. And we, 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 we can learn from these people, right? Because as Kanye is learning and he's getting older, and one of the things is I don't really keep up with pop culture, but because Kanye is famous, Kim Kardashian is famous, it would just bleed into my feeds, the stuff that Kanye was doing when Kim was dating Pete Davidson. Kim has already realized that she's not going to be able to find another Kanye. She has the same problem that Kanye has. Kim can go out and get a man. Kim can get some dick, but can she get Kanye dick? And this is the thing that I found to be interesting because when Kanye entered the Kardashian clan, he kind of chilled out for a minute because say what you want about the Kardashians, that is a close knit family. When Chloe was going through all her stuff with Lamar, her family did not abandon her. They supported her, they counseled her. When, um, dang, Caitlyn, uh, Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn, he transitioned, the family didn't abandon him. So Kanye had entered into a family that was a family. And that was something I think that he was missing for a long, long time to be part of a real close family. And due to that rapper energy, he can only keep it at bay for so long, act right for so long, and then Kanye had to start acting like a low class thug. And this is once again, Kanye's power base is appealing to low class people. Kim Kardashian's power base is appealing to low class people. I for one have no clue to how many children that Kim Kardashian has. I haven't investigated, I'm not concerned. But you got people who know how many children that Kim Kardashian has, but they don't even know how much money they have in their own damn checking account. It's kind of crazy, it's kind of crazy. But lessons that we can take from this situation is if you want to have power, you need more than money. Kanye is a prime example of money by itself is not power. Once again, most of the billionaires of the world have networks. They have political influence. They have, they have true power and influence where they can wave their hand and literally cause this town to get a power plant or this town not to get a power plant, or this town to get a manufacturing plant, or not to get a manual plant. That's the kind of power that Kanye West doesn't have. And this is the kind of power that traditional billionaires do have, because Kanye's a, a, a you know, and like Jay-Z, if you haven't noticed, Jay-Z has kind of taken some steps back. If you haven't noticed, JC ain't out in the public like he used to be. And I feel because Jay-Z has been mentored by Bill Gates, he's going to go in a totally different direction than Kanye, who's a reckless billionaire. Once again, Kanye, he'll be rich until he dies. He'll have all this money, he'll have power, and he'll have access, but he'll be hitting his ceiling because Here's the thing, one of the things I see with Kanye, and I haven't listened to any of his latest music. 
I'm a early Kanye West musical fan of the early Kanye stuff when he didn't have no money, when he was still coming up, when he was still struggling. I'm a fan of that Kanye because that Kanye was more realistic, more gritty, more earthy. But this new Kanye with sick money, man got a hundred and some thousand, hundred and some million dollar refund from the Internal Revenue Service. That kind of money changes you. And I feel that Kanye felt that he was untouchable, unstoppable, and he had major influence because he had money. But this shows you that even with money, you still need more. You still need more. Because like when Kanye said that slavery was a choice, I was kind of out at that point because any intelligent person that has casually studied slavery would know it was a, how, a house of horrors of all types of atrocious acts. Like take Jamaica. Jamaicans do not um, have an affinity for homosexuals because Jamaica was used as a buck busting institution where they would take black men to Jamaica and have homosexual acts performed on these black men to break their spirits. This is well documented, well known, and this is why many Jamaicans are not fans of the homosexual lifestyle. And, you know, if you did a deep study, there is no way that you could come away from your studies with that slavery was a choice. You couldn't even fix your mouth. Your, there, there's no way you could even come up to that, right? But once again, Kanye felt that he was unstoppable. He felt that he was, he could just do and say and be whatever he wanted to. And because Kim Kardashian has fame and money, she was like, I ain't gotta put up with this and I'm not putting up with this. And the deuces, I'm out. Kim was like, deuces, I'm out. And that that's one of the things that when you're dealing with a woman, because once again, looking at Kanye's dating history, I thought Kim Kardashian was a vast improvement over Amber Rose. But once again, Kanye West is not a thinker. Kanye West is not an intellectual. Kanye West is a China bull. It's a bull in a China shop running reckless around the dishes and crashing stuff. That's Kanye West. But Kanye West is like, whoa, wait a minute, I can't say what I want. And this is the thing. If, you know, I have studied the Jewish community and I've come away with nothing but positive assumptions and positive findings. Uh, these people were slaves 2,000 years ago. And it didn't take them until Hitler to like, whoa, well, we need to get our act together. We need to build something. We need to come together. We need to put a certain new directives in the culture to protect us all. Because here's the thing, all Jews don't like each other. They don't like each other, but they work together in spite of not liking each other. Now, black folks, oh my God, oh my God. If you got some black folks who don't like you, you're dead to them. You're dead to them. You cannot even come to the house. You, no, no, you, you're, you're just like black folks as a group will throw out someone outside, outside the community for dressing a certain way. If you are a black person and you dress too white, that is a reason for you to be exiled from the black community. But you can walk around with your pants hanging below your butt, your hair looking like a disaster area, and that's perfectly acceptable. But if you're dressed too white, 
no, we can't have that. We can't have that. But yeah, Kanye West is an interesting case of a lot of money, a lot of money, but an actual lack of intellect, a lack of networks. And you know, rest to be sure that Kanye has access to certain entertainment, certain uh, fashion, but politically, uh, this is where Kanye has made some mistakes. Because just like I said, Jay-Z has kind of stepped back and he's making moves in private and silence. Uh, Kanye is a reckless and Kanye, and to, to her credit, Kim Kardashian, while you can say what you want about her, she, from a political standpoint, was getting men out of jail during the Donald Trump presidency. She was advocating getting men out of jail. That's a pretty noteworthy cause to be, and she was doing stuff. So here's the thing. Kanye's getting older, Kim Kardashian's getting older, and you're going to see, hopefully, because Kim has already changed. She's, she's gone through a lot of changes, but hopefully we will see a change in Kanye because right now, that whole mess that he, he was acting like a wounded puppy when Kim started dating. And that kind of tells you that Kim left Kanye. Kanye did not leave Kim. Kim was like, deuces, I'm out. Because of Kanye being Kanye. Because I don't know what it is to be a Kanye West on a personal level. I have no clue because there's people who love the guy. There are people who despise the guy. It all depends upon who do you talk to. But here's the thing. The lesson that we can all learn from Kanye is to have a bunch of money and to have no real power. Kanye has social media power. He appeals to the low class base, which Kim does. That's the keeping up with the Kardashians that appeals to the low class base, which I think is 75% of America. So it's a huge base. It's a huge base of low class, low content consuming people who from a consumer standpoint have a lot of power. To have a base that big, that broad, that spends money where you want them to spend money, that is a lot of power for building wealth. But political power, corporate power, he's he a little shaky in that area. He's a little shaky in that area because here's the thing. I don't see the point in going out and bad-mouthing consistently a group of people just because you can do it. I don't see the point in that. But Kanye was out just talking all types of smack. And once again, since I don't live in that rim, I am completely unaware of his exact words because I do not consume Kanye West content. I do not consume Kim Kardashian content. From a social perspective, I really can't tell you what they're doing specifically. Because this video is based upon just the peripheral, just the stuff that bleeds over it. Because I'm not gonna spend a lot of time investigating what Kanye's up to. To me, that's just um, a waste of time for me personally and the things I'm trying to do. But I can speak on it because I am not surprised that Kanye got checked for messing with Jews. I've seen this playbook several times. You go ahead, you mess with Jews, you get slapped, you get checked, you, you get your access denied, you get your pants canceled. Because Jews have political power corporate power, 
financial power and entertainment power. I'll give you an example. David Geffen, Google it. He's an old school dude. He owned Geffen Records and Geffen did one of the slickest moves in history. He sold Geffen Records for two billy with a, you know, adjusted for inflation, it's about $10 billion that he got off that deal, maybe 10, 15 billion. Um, and then once he sold Geffen Records, he came out and was like, oh, by the way, I'm gay. At that point, there's nothing you can do. And Geffen and uh, Spielberg, because they created DreamWorks. So Geffen moved from owning Geffen Records to getting into one of the most influential movie production companies ever on the planet because it was Spielberg it was Geffen and I think it was another guy so here was a guy who's like I am openly gay rubbing his balls all over the internet and still living and doing exactly what he wanted to do saying what and that's another group you cannot mess with um, here in Atlanta, it was Gay Pride Weekend. They, they were out here having themselves a good time. Um, that's another group you cannot mess with because gays have political power. They have political power, they have corporate power. You cannot mess with gays. You cannot mess with Jews. But once again, there are many people who are socially unaware that these groups are not to be messed with. Because if you notice, well, number one, I have a lot of respect for the Jewish culture and what they accomplished. I feel what they did is amazing. And even though I don't have that same level of respect for gay people, um, I don't really see the point in just going around and bad mouthing a group of people because I may not agree with what they, they bring to the table. Because one of the things, and I will speak on this, is the number of movies with gay characters having gay sex on the screen. And it's kind of strange because you will see if this, you will see more gay sex in movies, uh, television shows, than you will see heterosexual sex. But here's the thing, gays make a smaller percentage of the population. So I don't know what type of social narrative is being, because I feel that's what's happened a narrative is being pushed upon me because I don't want to see gay sex because I'm not into gay sex. It doesn't do nothing for me. And I literally will turn off the television or fast forward past that nonsense because that's not something I want to consume. So I will speak on that and I don't think I'm getting a whole bunch of trouble for saying that because I'm not bashing gay people. I'm just saying as a heterosexual man, I don't want to watch gay sex. Sue me. But once again, there are groups you can mess with. There are groups you cannot mess with. And black folks is a group you can mess with because black folks are this huge collective of many different groups. There's the progressive black folks, nerd tribe, my folks. Then there are the low class, ghetto class, which is a significant large percent of black folks because uh, people will try to do videos talking about black culture and there's not uh, there's not one black culture uh, the black culture that i subscribe to is the black culture of ag gaston because there's that culture of sophisticated intelligent intellectual black folks who dress normal and get haircuts. And then there's another aspect of black culture, gold teeth, hair looking crazy, walking around with your pants hanging off your ass. So these are elements, many layers of black culture. There is not one singular black culture. And, but one of the largest segments of black culture is that uh, love and hip hop black culture. I feel that is the largest segment of black culture, the, the largest segment. 
And when you think of black culture first, that's the first place you go because it's so huge. It's so encompassing. But for me, my black culture is the A.G. Gastons. It's the people who went to school. It's the Bill Cosby's. That's my black culture. That's the black culture that I look to and refer to because I pretty much ignore love and hip hop black culture because I can't rock or ride with those folks. And once again, Yeezys, Yeezy, there's the Yeezys, there's these Yeezy slides, and there's these Yeezy air runners where I've seen reviews where they're the most uncomfortable shoes. And this is why I say Kanye West has pop, uh, has pop culture influence because he has convinced people to wear ugly shoes that are uncomfortable. They can't get enough of it. It's the craziest thing. But let me know your thoughts and opinions of this video. And I am getting ready to do some bang up training, some nice training. So if you go ahead and do the program, you will get this new training that is coming very, very soon. Be in that first comment or it'll be in the description box if I forget.